Hi everyone, uh, Dave Stewart here, leader of the Isle of Wight Council, and I want to read to you a few words with important information as we continue to deal with this really difficult crisis. Firstly, I want to begin by saying a big thank you to the vast majority of islanders who have complied with the advice to stay home, protect the NHS and save lives. You are making a real difference and helping us to turn the tide on this really difficult disease. To those few who continue to ignore the direction given, let me tell you this. If you are not only putting yourself, your own health and well-being at risk, you are putting the safety of all islanders at risk. The police will act if necessary, and I assure you they will have our full support. So please comply with the government advice. Many of us have been taking advantage of the opportunity to walk the dog or take personal exercise once a day. This is good, but must not be abused. The advice is to do so near your home. Certainly do not drive any distance to public recreation areas. If you're fortunate to live near a beach, we will be continuing access for dog walkers until further notice. However, this is not permission to travel long distances. Stay local to your home. Education. As all schools on the island have remained open in line with the government guidelines to support the children of our key workers and other vulnerable children. On top of this, schools have continued to keep in contact with all students, checking on their welfare and setting them work to do. This will ensure they can continue to learn remotely. On behalf of the council, I want to personally say thank you to every member of the school staff for their ongoing hard work and commitment. Your response to this crisis has helped communities across the island deliver these vital services. Mental health. Can I draw attention to the mental health and well-being of everyone as we work our way through this crisis? We know being restricted to our homes for long periods of times is stressful to say the least. And the news headlines add to the situation, albeit they're trying to keep us informed. So over the coming days and weeks, the council will be delivering a campaign of information on how to maintain your mental health and well-being. Information will be available on our website and through our council e-newsletter. You can sign up to our electronic newsletter now via the website and it will come free to your email account. All other information is on our website. Domestic and child abuse. The other important subjects I need to mention are domestic abuse and child abuse. We recognise that incidents of both are rising. This is true across the country and the island is no different. The question is, how do we deal with it to keep everyone safe, including children? You will know if your home is one where this is happening and you will also know if you have concerns for your neighbours as well. You can report your concerns on confidential phone lines. For domestic abuse, the number to use is 0800 two three four six two six six and for children at risk the confidential number to use is zero eight zero zero one 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 so don't leave it to chance if you know of problems tell someone we can then help finally can i ask everyone to be aware of scammers and fraudsters the most recent i have seen is someone asking a resident to send bank details to get cash for food vouchers the council do not operate like this, and if you are in any doubt about any message of this nature, call our helpline 01983 823 600. In fact, our helpline you can call if you need any help. So, in conclusion, as we as a council with our partners continue to do all we can to look after our island community, what we need you to do is to stay home, Stay safe and protect our NHS. Thank you all.